Hi, and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Today, we're taking you to the Kennedy Space Center. just now joining us on Aiken Adventures, we're taking you to do all the best things in all the best places all around Florida. If you like that kind of content, then you want to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications for more of our adventures around Florida. All right, Vivi, where are we going? We're going to Spaceship Orange. Oh, are you excited? Mm-hmm. It's going really fast. Oh, okay. You're going to ride a spaceship? All right, we'll see. Now, it can get kind of expensive to experience most of the Central Florida attractions. So that's why we like to check Groupon for lots of deals for many of the things that we enjoy doing all across Central Florida. One of our favorite Groupon deals is the Go City, Go Orlando Pass from Groupon, which allows for you to choose a combination of several Central Florida attractions, including the Kennedy Space Center. We'll put a link for that coupon in the description below. All right, and based upon our previous experience, we recommend that you download the app uh, for the Kennedy Space Center. That will help you to be able to navigate all the different attractions and uh, be able to figure out where you want to go. First, we're going to head to the section with the heroes and legends. And basically, this lays out all of the information about the astronauts and takes you through the Hall of Fame. So this show was an entirely like immersive experience with a giant screen and, wind. and then there were fans that came on. So Vivian was a little bit terrified during that. So we so. just kind of held her and then backed away from the edge. But because um, even as an adult, you can sort of get a little bit dizzy on the platform. Yeah, so if you have small children, maybe avoid this section. <laughs> Now these little sections here show different memorabilia from different astronauts and it gives you some information along with a video from them that tells about all the journeys that they took in space. What you think? It was scary. What happened? It was like air. Oh, there was air. It didn't hurt you though, right? I'm so glad we actually got to watch the videos this time because none of those parts were open when we came during COVID last year. Um, but even though Vivian wasn't really into it, I enjoyed it. I thought it was some really neat information. Next up is the rocket garden. I love this because you get to see just how massive these rockets are. A 
15 minute guided tour of the Rocket Garden is also available. The times are posted at the front entrance of the Rocket Garden. It's so incredible to me that something this large and this heavy could actually be blasted off into space. Like that just blows my mind. What, what do you see? Oh, I don't think there's a playground. Oh, okay. Now make sure pretty early on in your visit that you get a timed ticket to do the bus tour. There's a self-serve kiosk located on the inside of the ATX, which is the astronaut training experience, or you can scan the QR code at the uh, sandwich board sign there and uh, register online. So while we're waiting on our turn on the buses, we're walking through the nature and technology pavilion, which is mildly interesting. <laughs> but the main reason we've come in here is because of the air conditioning. That's the main reason. But they have various kinds of like taxidermied animals with some placards explaining various things about wildlife. So I'm sure it's educational as well. tour now we got our tickets so bright and hot <laughs> I'm really excited about the bus tour because this is one of the things that was closed last year we didn't get to do it so I'm also excited because even though it's running now it's still limited capacity yes. and it's not real crowded here yeah we don't like crowds <laughs> yeah. We have just a few more minutes before we load the bus, so we're also going to check out another air-conditioned area, and it is the world's largest space shop. For $70, you can buy an astronaut uniform for your little one. For $100, you can buy an astronaut uniform for yourself. So the bus tour takes you out by the giant vehicle assembly building, which is so much bigger than I ever really imagined. After passing the vehicle assembly building, it will take you out to the Apollo and Saturn V pavilion, and then you wait in line for a little bit to explore there. Space. Every week on TV, I'd watch my heroes jump into their rocket ships and took to the sky. And I wanted to be the turned out. And those were exactly the qualities it took. Christ play Texas. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this detail and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Your guests, please use the door to your far left. In this room, they have the room the mission control set up as it was on, for the launch Don't of the Apollo 8. The It is one of those rare moments when history is not being made, destiny is being erased.
we were pleasantly surprised to discover that there is a cafe out here for lunch because it happens to be lunchtime. This astro van was used to transport the astronauts to the launch pad. It was specially designed to allow the astronauts to fit in with their bulky suits. Check out this carpet and couch combination. Once you finish exploring the Apollo and Saturn V pavilion, then you exit through the gift store. Back on the bus, back to the visitor complex. It's kind of nice riding in an air conditioned bus back to the complex. Not yes. too bad. We are training, testing, pressing our pioneering spirit into every component. Now we're going to my favorite, Atlantis. We cannot wait to go see Atlantis, but the largest herd of school children that we've ever seen in our entire lives just headed up that way, and we figured no matter what happens, they're going to win. So we're going to take a trip to the Dippin' Dots instead. Okay, that was a nice little detour, and I think we've given enough buffer between us and the insane amount of children that passed by <laughs> so we that can we through. can <laughs> make it through.
the bottom of the Atlantis shuttle launch experience is a set of astronaut training simulators. So we're going to check those out and see which ones there are. There's another Astro van here. I'm guessing this one's a little bit newer than the other one. Next we're headed to Journey to Mars. How amazing would that be? But what about Mars? Our robots are there right now things out. After the presentation, we take a couple of moments to stroll around and look at all the different kinds of Mars rovers. Okay, next we're checking out the Universe Theater. There are multiple shows and showtimes that are available at the Universe Theater. Um, so check the app and check the showtimes for the ones that are most interesting to you. We're just gonna go to the next available one. I guess I assumed it was going to be a movie, but it's more like a... Information. Yeah, it's more like a three-dimensional keynote presentation, which is still pretty cool. The presentation that we watched was about, uh, was called The Eyes on the Universe, and it was about the Hubble Space Telescope, and then all of the advancements that have been made in infrared technology and various other things for the launch of a brand new telescope into space to keep peering deeper and deeper into space. We wonder what's inside of the astronaut training experience. We've never done this before. It was closed down the last time we were here. And it looks like a tremendous amount of fun for $40 for somebody who's older than two. <laughs> Actually, yeah. they have to be 10, 10 and older, but she's two, so. It won't work. She doesn't know what she's missing out on, so it's okay. Okay, we're going to check out the Mars rover, maybe. Let's see what's over here. Alright, it looks like that's just something that you can look at. Yeah, it's here. not a ride or anything, so now we know. Next, we're heading over to Planet Play. I think this is going to be Vivian's favorite part. Okay, next we're on our way to the IMAX theater. So check that out. Yeah, this should be pretty cool. I'm excited about this one. All right, that was a good show. It was really, really good. Vivian actually liked most of it, so she fell asleep. <laughs> The show was called Asteroid Hunters and it was about protecting the Earth from the possibility of asteroids. So it was kind of interesting to think about. I'm really glad that we came back here because really we had no idea what the fall experience of the park would have been from our previous ex visit. Everything was, was shut down, there were no shows. Yeah, we missed a lot. None of the, yeah. 
But this time it took the whole day to make the visit. Last time we were done in just like a couple hours. Yeah, we were literally here from open to close and the entire time we were doing stuff. So we definitely missed a lot last time. I'm so glad we came back. Also, I realized that we could come back again in several months and have an entirely different experience because there are alternative shows at most of the theaters and uh, you can select which ones you're interested in going to. So if we just chose a different path or a different schedule, we would be able to watch entirely different shows. Okay, that's all she wrote for this episode of Asian Adventures. It's time to return to the van. It's 5 p.m. They're closing the place down, so we're gonna get out of here. We'll see you next time. Hi, this is Anthony and Elena. If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida.